Okay, we're back. What's up, everybody? For all of you that have always wondered about my silence. Not me thinking that was Rosio O'Donnell. Hey. It sucks. I think you need help. <laughs> Do you think? So this is Lori Knight. Trust me, we've been wow. fighting like hell to save him. No! Girl. Anybody associated with them, Lauren Kit, if you're involved with it, you too. Please forgive me. My brother, if you're involved with it, you too. Angel, if you're involved with it, you too. All of you guys. And I've been waiting for you to make your moves. I shouldn't have watched this. Fire and die in vain. And that something has to be done to continue the conversation about mental health. Lower that tone. Her tone is getting so high. I know she's lying. This is my little brother. I'm, no matter what, I'm always going to love him. And I know that you love him too. People that I know love me. And he got the pearl necklace on. Let's go. Because it's the juice. And if you don't have the juice, you don't have it. So if you don't have the juice, you can't capitalize. Fill the room with the juice. That's a lot of loot. That bit fire. Yeah, she kind of. But I decided I wanted a smoothie instead of Pringles. Isn't that random? I don't know. It's just super weird to me. I just got done working out. I literally had to work out because I knew I had to film this video. And I know that I have no energy right now. So I now am energized after what? Two miles and 45 minutes of lifting. I'm literally exhausted. Anyways, Aaron freaking Carter. So I have not heard Nick Carter's new song. I have no idea what it is, but I remember it popped up and I said, oh, let me not even do it. Let me wait till the reaction. Let me not even touch it because yeah, I I'm very curious. We're going to wait till the end though, but I did want to go to the Aaron Carter benefit concert, but at the same time it is in California and Cali and... Kali Yuga. According to Hinduism, Kali Yuga is the current age, which is considered the fourth and worst of the four yugas. It's the way I'm so spiritually connected right now. I'm like, I don't even need to be in the energy of anybody who is in California. And is associated with a demon, Kali. Wants to be in California. Influence. Like, I just, mm -mm. I was not in the energy at all. Plus, it was just too much going on for me to even think about going to this concert. But let me tell you something. I really, I actually really did want to. Now, Post ID Media did make a video on it called Aaron Carter Benefit Concert Highlights featuring Nick Carter, Backstreet Boys. Da the fact that David Archuleta was there. Hung up the phone tonight. Something happened for the first time. I'm inside. <laughs> but at the same time, like. Not a rush, not a rush. I really wish Jesse McCartney was there, but at the same time, I understand like they had their little beef, whatever. And then of course, Lori Knight and more. So I'm excited to hop in here. Let's see what's going on. Um, because the second I saw one, let's actually look at that because there was something that, that literally had me like, wait, I don't understand. There we go. So Nick Carter hurts to love you. I went to his Vivo, whatever. I was like, this man ain't got no songs on here barely. So for him to post that song on here and not somewhere else. Anyways, let's hop in here. I feel, I can't, I can't even explain how I feel about Aaron Carter anymore. Today I found myself, cause when this popped up, I was like, oh, let me save it. I'll do a reaction. I, I found myself saying, I can't believe y'all let Aaron Carter die. Like I literally just, it just came out of me like word vomit. And I was thinking in my head, why, why did I just say that? Like it was just so random, but I really, I think I still feel that way. I feel like I can't believe the neglect really just, ugh. Anyways. I, I need to make something positive out of this tragedy. I'm like, well, I have a stage. What do you want to do? So please. Angel, why do you look so damn happy? Please welcome Angel Conrad. What are you smirking about? I don't like this already. I really feel all the love in the room and I just appreciate you guys all being here tonight. And me. <sighs> this is going to be a hard one for me. You know, 
a week after Aaron passed away, a fire went inside of me, and I said, you know, I cannot. A fire went inside of me. She said the exact same thing in her Instagram, in her Instagram post. Ooh, girl, I shouldn't have watched this. Fire and die in vain, and that something has to be done to continue the conversation about mental health. Lower that tone. Her tone is getting so high. I know she's lying. And the stigma that surrounds it. Okay. She went down a little bit. Girl. So I went to honorsleeves.org and okay. <clears throat> I clicked on the tab, how can I get involved? And I said, I saw a fundraiser and I'm like, perfect. I can throw a fundraiser. I've got connections. <laughs> so I reached out to Joel. Joel, who runs Honor Sleeves, and my brother, yeah. Lance. And we've been working around the clock to put on this benefit for you guys and to continue to raise awareness for on our sleeves and why can i feel aaron hating this anybody want to answer that for me because i don't know why i feel it but i feel it i feel it for mental health so thank you it's so very much. weird i don't know what, what this is, is this? First time on stage with a microphone. Like that hug was just... First time. First time holding a microphone. I'm glad I didn't go. I, I would be fuming. So Very rare in the Carter family. Yeah. This is just so... Uh, but again, thank you so much. Uh, let's start this show. You know, this is a night of celebration. But anyways, I was standing by the front door. Doorbell rang. I can't believe this man is speaking. I can't believe this man is speaking. All I'm thinking about is the way he sat there and didn't say a word when Nick was coming for it. Is my leg really, my leg is twitching. Oh my God, I shouldn't have watched this. I opened the door, Jane Carter and this eight year old little boy that looked like that with that face was standing there. But he was standing there with a three piece suit on. And he looked at- House of Carters. Oh my God, I can literally just see this man sitting there not saying a word while everybody was just ganging up on Aaron. You know what? Let me shut up. I mean, he goes, Let me shut hi, up. I'm Aaron Carter. And he gave me a high five and he walked past me through the formal living room into the pool area. Formal living room, I haven't heard that in a while. I remember my formal living room. We don't sit in it. It's just for show. And jumped straight into the pool. When I saw that, I was like, I like this kid. Flip that back nine months. I see Aaron again. He's at a rehearsal for the Backstreet Boys. They're getting ready to go on their first headlining arena tour in Europe. But this time, we didn't see that energy honesty. He was sad. So I said to Aaron, I said, what's wrong? He goes... Nick's going to be leaving me, and I'm not going to have him to go fishing with this summer. I know. So I said, hey, Aaron, can you sing? He goes, yes, and I can sing better than Nick. <laughs> so I had a good buddy of mine that was a producer, Gary Carolla, and I've had this idea to cut, recut this song by the Jets called Crush On You. So we put Aaron in the studio. Gary came out with this big smile on his face. Let me just take a break. I'm, I can't cry in this video, child. Basically, he said, wait till you hear this. And I heard it, and I was like, this is a smash. So I said to Jane, I said, look, I have this idea. Let me talk to the promoter. If we can get him to allow Aaron to open up, <clears throat> they can spend the summer together on the European tour. The promoter said yes. The first night was in Berlin, 16,000 people. I'm standing on the back side of the stage and I said, Aaron, are you nervous? Absolutely not. He ran out there on that stage with his two dancers, 16,000 people went crazy. In four days, there were four record deals on the table for Aaron. We signed one. And within three months, so if someone sends me an Instagram or a tweet of negativity about somebody, the first thing I'll do is I'll look at it 
and I'll send it on to somebody else. But what I should do is reach out to that person and say, are you okay? Can I help you? Can I uplift you? So I want for 2023, one of my things, and I pray that you guys would go along with this. Anytime somebody sends you or tells you something negative about somebody you know or you love, please reach out to them and don't say, why the fuck are you doing that? Say, how can I help you? Okay? Oh my God, hotel! Made me sick. And the girls got out for the summer. For the summer, I would have been screaming. I would have been screaming. Stop. Oh. Yo, this venue is pretty small, huh? It didn't look that big. Yo, old town. What? It's a pleasure to be here, guys. Thank you, Angel, for inviting me. I'm here as a reminder. I'm sorry. We are here to support mental health services. The On Your Sleeve organization has What is it that I've heard about this man that's making me smirk like this? I know it to be true that I can't there's remember. only 15,000 kids, one child and adolescent psychiatrist per 15,000 children. It is inadequate. We are one of the only countries in the world that does not pay attention to this instrument. The thing that's in our cabeza can get sick just the way this can or the joint can or true. anything else can. True. And why we stigmatize it and treat it differently is an atrocity. The illnesses that are generated from here can be fatal. We have to remember that today. This is a sad reminder of that. All I can think while you're saying this with Nick in the background with Aaron is, okay, so how does a restraining order help somebody with mental issues? Mm, that doesn't help. It doesn't help. Oh, God, this is so hard. But... I'm here really just as that reminder. Please take care of yourself. Take care of the people you love. Let's invest in mental health services just as much as we invest in any other medical services out here. One slight different about the brain, though, is that spirituality does affect our head. And we've been living in a spiritual vacuum in this country for a long time. I think we're all aware of that. Whoa. I was not expecting Dr. Drew to say that. Okay, Dr. Drew, because like I was just talking about Kali. According to Hinduism, Kali Yuga is the current age, which is considered the fourth and worst of the four Yugas, meaning world ages, in a Yuga cycle. It is believed to be a time full of conflict and sin, and is associated with a demon, Kali, whose name means strife, discord, quarrel, or contention, explaining that society will get worse as time progresses during this time. Up until the Kali Yuga ends. Let me shut up. Very important that we solve that problem collectively and Co individually. Collectively. So. Wow. I don't want to spend too much time up here. I can talk. And what's crazy is that really just went over a lot of people's heads. Because, man, we are in a spiritual warfare so hard right now. It's crazy. Like, I'm, I'm seeing it so clear as day. Everybody else is just... Instagram, I got this. I, 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 I do. Like everybody's just so, you know, and I'm just like, I have to just, t just take my way, just take myself away from everybody. I just, I need to just take myself away from everybody because I, I feel too much. And it's like, everything I'm feeling right now is just like, you know, people are literally just, at this point, if, if you haven't been caught up in the news, I don't even know. Like, if you're distracted by the Idaho murders, you're you're not even somebody I need to be speaking to right now. Because if you're distracted by that, I'm so sorry. But, um, yeah, that, there's a huge reason why that's a distraction. All day about mental health and addiction. I'm not going to. You're but mental health... I'm so sorry. I have seen too much content to take you seriously, but I'm going to try. Is a epidemic. It is. It is here. It's been here. I'm a fucking red. And it's not going anywhere. I like that sweater. It's cute. But now it's being talked about. Now it's not being swept under the rug anymore. They are 
really focused on the mental health aspects. I, mm, I don't know. Like, I, like, I'm here for that. But... Mm. Let me be quiet. And I believe, in my personal humble opinion... Where I is Nick? Oh, sometimes, she probably gonna put him in the end, right? Mm. Unfortunately, a tragedy has to happen. A. For us to open our eyes. See this venue. And to be inspired. Small. True. And to then know, okay, maybe I know somebody struggling. Maybe I know somebody who is hurting. Mm -hmm. And I've been afraid to say something. Mm. Don't be afraid to yeah, say don't. something. Don't. Tell Honestly, that person. Even me, for example, I do not like speaking to people when I'm down. I don't, I don't even want you around me because why would I be putting that energy on you? It just doesn't make sense to me. I, I don't like it. So I will just put myself like in a bubble and just ignore you until I am like ready to speak to you, right? But what I find during the times of like my silent solitude is those messages is what's keeping me going day in and day out. It's like, oh, well, remember this person? Like they're really worried about you. They want to make sure you're okay. So I'm like, all right, yeah, like let me go to the gym. Like let me do something to not think so negatively. It's interesting because I know everybody does it differently, but for me, I'm very guarded. I'm very, very guarded because I feel like I have to not only protect myself, but other people from what I'm feeling. Hey. It sucks. I think you need help. <laughs> do you think? Or maybe this will inspire people that are struggling mm -hmm. to finally ask mm. for help. Admit. There is nothing wrong and there is no shame. So I don't even want to admit it. For help. <laughs> I want to believe you, but baby. I hard. ask for help every day now. I wish I was good at it, but I'm I not. ask for help from my sponsor. I ask for help oh, he has a from my brothers. I ask for help from my family. Can I just friends. say, this man has really aged well, and I'm trying to understand how. <laughs> because. AJ, you have always lived in the fast lane, at least from, you know, the perception. So it's just, can y'all explain this to me? This man looks really good right now. I can't really see everything. They got the hats, you know, covering their eyes. But I feel like this man aged so well. And I only surround myself with people that I trust, people that I would die for, people that I know love me. And he got the pearl necklace on. Let's go. Okay, AJ, I'm hearing you. I'm listening. I'm pretty fucking far from perfect. Mm. Trust me. Oh, we but know. For all of you being here tonight, mm -hmm. means the world to I know Nick, Angel. <sighs> this donate now, I wish it said donate here. I really wish it didn't say donate now. I just really wish it said donate here. And, and <clears throat> again, up to you, but it's just the energy is just and like I, know little man I don't know he's looking down right now and he's very happy oh is he and all of us are here to remember a very talented extremely talented a very kind very loving human why is it that picture of angel and 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 and, and aaron right there why can't it just be pictures of aaron <clears throat> let me shut up and being performer artist for all of you that have always wondered about my silence. Not me thinking that was Rosio O'Donnell. Oh my God. No wonder. No, no wonder you guys be interested in my reactions. I really thought that was Rosio O'Donnell. I was going to say, girl, I'm proud of you for coming. But I swear you don't look like this right now. I feel so bad. Our next. So this is Lori Knight. Trust me. We've been wow. fighting like hell. So this is Lori Knight. Trust me. We've been... Wow. Fighting like hell to save him. No, 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 no. So hard. We just don't talk about it. Oh, it's so crazy. All I hear is Aaron like Lori not Lori Knight. And so like oh, I could I haven't seen y'all, I haven't watched anything of Aaron Carter since I stopped creating content like last month. So I am I'm just like whoa. Like so bear with me. It's sad. And we tried so hard and there were times where Aaron was great. And when he was great, he was great. To Nick, if anybody doesn't think that man has done stuff for Aaron, they know nothing. 
about Nick. They know nothing about Nick. And Aaron and him started. You see that girl crying? Did you see that? Look at her. Look at her. Girl. The energy is, let me be quiet. And Aaron and him started and she's like making shaking amends her head a little bit before Aaron's passing. But Aaron would say, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. To Angel, he would say, I'm so proud of you. And I will tell you, Nick, when we were on tour and Aaron was low about something, Nick was the man I called all the time. He would talk to him for hours. He would fly in on his one day off from his own tour. Look at this woman like. To spend six hours girl. with Aaron to make him feel better. Angel was his North Star. Whenever he got too lost. How can they say this and not bring up the restraining order? Bring up the restraining order. Angel was the person he turned to. And now he's going to be her North Star. And I'm so proud of her too. And I'm so proud of Nick. And I hope the people that are trying to stir up trouble, please stop because it just makes the trauma worse. And, and I know that if we could hear him, he would be saying, wow, this is amazing. It's the way everybody is talking over you. I just really don't understand why y'all couldn't center it just around Aaron. I'm seeing all these pictures of Aaron and, I mean, again, it's his siblings, I understand. But I just feel like it should just be super centered to Aaron. I, I don't know. Am I wrong on that? Can someone please tell me? Because I am very much like, I'm just like, wow. I have loved you all. I will love you till the end of time. Wait. To Nick. If anybody doesn't think that man has done stuff for Aaron, they know nothing about Nick. They know nothing. Look at that girl. And I can't Aaron, get over it. She's and like started making amends before Aaron's passing. But Aaron would say, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. To Angel, the he way would say, I'm so proud people of are talking over and I will you. Tell you. Nick, when we hey. were on tour and Aaron was low about something, Nick was the man I called all the time. He would talk to him for hours. He would fly in on his one day off from his look, own look, tour look at this. to look spend at this. six hours with Aaron to make him feel better. Angel was his North Star. When was this? Whenever he got too lost, Angel was the person he turned to. Whenever he got too lost. And now he's going to be her North Star. And I'm so proud of Where's Jane? I'm so proud of Nick. And I hope you guys enjoy this show because it's amazing. I Is hope it? you find peace in it, and I hope the people that are trying to stir up trouble, please stop, because it just makes the trauma worse. I just can't believe she said that. Like, like it just does. Girl. You guys, thank you. That was scary. Have a wonderful day. That was scary. I bet it was for you, girl. I bet it was. Oh, wow. So y'all didn't even prepare. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna, I plead the fifth. Everybody sing with us because we're not harmonizing at all. I am like, I am seriously so baff. I, 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 I thought this, I thought this was gonna be better, and I'm sorry if I seem insensitive. I am just, 
I just I <laughs> Does he just sing? He does. He doesn't have a speech or anything. There better be a speech. Is this the song? Is this the, is this the, is this the hard to love song? To a place you are happy in this world. Wow, sir, your voice. Recovery? Isn't that the new one? Like that he was like, you know. I see his face I just can't believe it I'm like y'all let Aaron cut I just Lizzie McGo I just I don't know if I'm ever gonna get over I don't know if I'm ever gonna like I don't know if it's ever gonna not be shocking to me I don't know I'm just like Aaron Carter oh they played his song okay okay oh my god this is hard to watch man what the f Oh my God, how did y'all do that? 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 Is there a fool? Is there a fool? I need to see the whole thing. Lance wasn't in the Backstreet Boys. He sure wasn't. Just reading comments right now, y'all. I watched this and I bawled like a baby. Rest in peace, Aaron. Oh, really? I need to watch the whole thing. This is so beautiful. Rest in peace. I just feel like it could have been better. I'm sorry. Am I, am, am I wrong for that? You, you guys tell me. If I'm wrong, hey, I'm wrong. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm a human, so y'all gotta get over the fact that uh, people are wrong sometimes. This is an this is an amazing thing. Anyone that would crap on someone raising awareness for mental he mental health is awful. I get that, but I don't know. I just I felt like it, I thought I thought it was gonna be more about like Aaron's life, legacy, music. Like I didn't. I didn't know it was gonna be so geared to, to, to mental health and raising, and this is the thing. Yeah, you're raising awareness, but you could also raise awareness by not doing it and, and like, like donate now to donate here. You know, like there's, there's little things that I feel like, uh, I don't really know what the motive necessarily here is, but my gut is telling me. Uh, I'm not a sheep and I'm not about to follow whatever the heck is going on here, but I'm going to try You know, that's why you guys are you're, you're, you're here to watch the reaction, right? They did an amazing job with the fundraiser and tribute. Did they? Wow, you guys are really interesting proud to be in recovery. Wow. This is absolutely amazing. Is it? This is this was beautiful. Thanks for sharing. I just really feel like it should have been better. I'm so sorry I, Maybe I maybe I put Aaron at a higher level then i should i don't know but i really thought it was gonna be way better than that way better than that i mean and i thought nick was gonna have a speech of some sort let's listen to this song actually i want to read the lyrics yeah let's do let's do the lyrics i'm gonna go ahead and mute it actually no i'll put it in my ear true Felt like we've been through some wars together. Nobody else can understand. Guaranteed, I, I bet. I would have read the. Too many nightmares to oh God, sir, hold on. <laughs> I gotta connect it to the ear. God, this is so hard for me to watch right now. I'm just like, dude. <sighs> okay, okay, would be better than the days before. I don't know, man. I hope you find your road to follow to be happy you are happy in this world. This is so sad. This is because it hurts to love you, but I love you still. I miss you with all my heart. You know, I always will. Mm, he would have loved to hear that. And always prayed for peace somehow your soul could feel. You know, it hurts to love you. Oh, I have one minute left until my battery dies. I'm not done with the song, so sorry. But thank you for watching. And yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I need to see the full thing before I have an opinion. <laughs> I need to see the full thing in its entirety.
because I was just like, I, I just thought it was going to be way more put together, way more rehearsed. Like, I don't, I don't know. Again, let me know if I'm wrong. I'm sure you will. I have enough haters these days anyway, so I, I don't really even care. I'm surprised I'm still here, honestly. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm going to finish listening to this. Hearts to love you. This is so effing heartbreaking. Let's read some comments. Oh, right. Of course the comments are off. How could I be stupid? It's hard to let go of the anger. I know for me it took some time. Mmm, okay. Okay, Nick, okay. Sometimes the darkness lasts forever. Feels like the light won't ever shine. I can't believe this man's voice sounds like this now. I'm so surprised. Always hoped your tomorrows would be better than the days before. So Jane wasn't there? Oh my God, I didn't even realize Jane. Was Jane there? Y'all tell me. Oh, I hope you find the road to follow to a place you were happy in this world. Didn't want to leave you hanging. I'm still listening. I'm still listening. I always prayed for peace somehow your soul could feel. You know it hurts to love you, but I love you still. Is Nick religious? I don't think I've ever... Does he pray? Let me shut up. I'm just like so unbelievably surprised by this song right now. Hurts to love you. Why does it hurt? Well, I think it hurts on both spectrums but like what's your what's your perspective i'm curious like i'm just curious oh is that how it ends that's it that's it oh just like a true aquarius is he an aquarius why is my brain automatically telling me he's an aquarius hey google what zodiac sign is nick carter aquarius okay <clears throat> that was a little scary Ugh, I don't know if I want to have a segment on, on Aquariuses in this video, but yeah, I, I stand by my statement. Mm, it's like a true Aquarius. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can find the whole thing. I want to, I really want to find the whole thing. If anyone can send me the whole, oh, I found the whole thing. Okay. It's two hours. Okay. I'm going to watch this in my spare time. And when I do my live stream tomorrow, the goodbye live stream, I will have my opinion after because I want to watch this in its, in its entirety. I feel like this reaction was very much me reacting to the different parts, obviously. Like, but I don't have, I can't have a co cohesive thought of this uh tribute concert until i see the whole thing so i'm going to do that uh but regardless let me know your thoughts on this reaction like i said previously and i will see y'all in the next video not check the star mad at nick carter for aaron carter's tribute song <laughs> i was trying to end the video <laughs> i was trying to end it i ain't putting you on a screen check but 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 we gonna hear what you gotta say because sir why are you talking i ain't even gonna fake it i was on my live and i was just talking about the fact that people are being funny and making songs about aaron after his death when they weren't even there like nick stop the madness and y'all want to block my live because i'm talking about the fact that nick carter wasn't there wait does anyone else think wait, nick talking carter about the aware. fact that nick carter wasn't there i'm talking about the fact that nick carter wasn't there and they're like, Nick, stop the madness and y'all want to block my live because I'm... Oh, you mean like when he died? You look like a whole female. Just talking about the fact that people are being funny and making songs about Aaron after his death when they weren't even there. Like, It's funny how you can say that. <laughs> it's real funny how you can say that. Wow. Nick, stop the madness and y'all want to block my live because I'm talking about the fact that Nick Carter wasn't there. Oh, okay. Does anyone else think that Nick Carter's song has nothing to do with Aaron Carter at all? But yeah, he's trying to capitalize off of it. You know what's funny? You did the same thing though. But yes, I, 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 cause, 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 okay, this is my thing. This is my thing. Okay. I feel like there was so much more to Aaron that could have been focused on than his mental health. I just really feel that way. I, I, again, I could be wrong. Not to say, you know, focusing on mental health is bad, obviously. I mean, I am very much somebody who talks about it a lot. If anything, I experience it every goddamn day. So I fully get that. But something about it is a little, it is a little off. And I mean, you would know, right, Check. I think Check would be the one to know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I mean, he did, he did it. He does it. Yeah, 
or, or I don't know if he has the self awareness to realize that, but it sounds like a broken heart story or something. Like, it right? sounds like a broken you just heart story. You and Aaron, be real. I still love you, but I stopped that, boy. Man, you finna sing that at the tribute like you really mean an angel. You might shed one tear, Kevin. Now Scotia and Savage too. Now you made a tribute, but you was just the biggest Aaron Carter hater. Just what, like last March or something? Like what? Is that true, y'all? Let me know. You was just hating on the man so bad you wanted him to OD. Come on, stop it, bro. And yeah, I made a freaking tribute song. And yes, I shot the video at his vigil because it mattered to me. It really mattered to me. I didn't just go stand in front of a white. It mattered to me. Yeah, exactly. You have no respect. <laughs> it only, it's always, that's the problem with these people, man. It's always just, uh, and you know, it kills me sometimes, but sometimes when I fit, when I find my, like myself in situations where somebody could think that, I think in my head like, dang, it's crazy. Cause I'm thinking like, I need to protect you from how effing terrible this energy is. But to somebody else, they're seeing it like, oh my gosh, she's ignoring me. She's not talking to me. Like, da, da, da. But I like, it's just so crazy how like all humans have like different perspectives on like the same things. It's just so fascinating. I right, wall and sing a song I wrote three years ago. And, Nick, that song wasn't even about Aaron. It was probably about your sister. Stop the cat, bro. We see right through it. You just recorded that. So you had something to sing at the tribute. Well, there you have. Bye. Bye. Why did he speak? There's no way. You're telling me that he did a he was at that and didn't speak. Is that what y'all is that what y'all telling me right now? There's no way. Emotional ending of Aaron Carter tribute with Nick Carter. Okay, did he speak? I just have to find like if this man didn't speak, it's gonna be a big. Call. Pull your pants up, dude. I don't Clear think you up. understand how much this means to all of us here. At Lance is just giving <laughs> Lance. Lance, I want to be your friend. Like, ugh, I don't know. Everybody here in this audience tonight, how important this is to us. You know, this was an incredible cause that we went, my sister started with me. Um, this is so important. What was it? It means so much to us and it's so important. Um, this is so important. It means so much to us and to have you here in this audience supporting us, believing in us. The importance of this cause, the importance of this message that we have been trying to share with every single one of you out there. And uh, this is my little brother. I'm, no matter what, I'm always going to love him. And I know that you love him too. And that means a lot to us and to me. So I just want to thank you for that. I want to really thank you for that, for just being here, always being here for us. So I want to do a little something special for one more song tonight. Uh, this is being here, always. I want to thank you for that. I want to really thank you for that, for just being here, always being here. And I know that you love him too. I'm going to hear it again. And uh, this is my little brother. Um, no matter what, I'm always going to love him. And I know that you love him too. I think that was genuine. And that, I think that was means genuine. a lot to us and to me. So I just want to thank you for that. I want to really thank you for that, for just being here, always being here for us. So I want to do a little something special for one more song tonight. This is a song that my brother actually would perform all the time. Um, I want to bring everybody up on stage to sing this with us, if you don't mind. Let's get everybody up. Come on, boys. Thank you, David. Okay, so... The super so, duper so, group. So you see what I mean by context? Like, that's why I needed to watch the whole thing, because I'm like, why are y'all up here singing a song out of, out of tune? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> but I, I get it now. It makes sense. Okay, um, okay. We just turned into a Korean boy band, y'all. Yeah. No, y'all did it real quick. <laughs> Ryan, this is so thank you so much, guys. Sad. I need um, to watch the whole thing. So I this is a song that my brother actually used to perform all the time on the road. Um, it's so interesting how, and I'm gonna leave it with this because honestly, I need to watch this in my own time. It's so interesting how Nick.
continues continuously, okay, to say, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother. I have barely heard the word Aaron out of these people's mouths. I, 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 I actually, when I edit, I might count how many times I hear, I haven't even heard Aaron. They don't talk about him like they know him. They talk about him like, whew, it's gonna, it's gonna, uh, you know what? I'm sick of holding my tongue. They talk about him like an extension of themselves. That's how it sounds. I mean, thank you for being here with us. Thank you for supporting us. Like, I just don't think this was like Aaron Carter focused at all. I'm sorry. And I personally kind of wish it was. I'm going to be honest. I, 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 I think the man definitely deserved that. I mean, damn, that's crazy. I don't know, man. I'm, you know me, y'all. I'm always gonna go with my gut and how I feel and just the energy that that I'm, um, you know, transpiring, whatever. So I am not gonna have a final opinion until after I watch the entire damn thing, which I'm about to do. So I'm gonna go do that. Uh, what, what the hell? I was over here like, did I move? <laughs> so I'm gonna go do that. Let me know your thoughts down below. I wasn't expecting this video to be that long, but hey, long form content is better than short, at least when you really want to watch something. So we're officially finally out. So I'll see y'all tomorrow in the live stream. I'm super excited for that because I kind of just want to like, hang out and talk with you guys, you know, but so hopefully we can get that done. Oh, <sighs> maybe I shouldn't have watched Aaron. Cause now I'm just thinking about him again and I haven't really been thinking about him. Bro, you guys gotta be kidding. Oh, mental health. It's like, bro, there were so many resources. What are you talking about? I just, oh my God, it's, it's just. And another thing is like, I wish, actually, we're gonna talk about that in another video. I think addiction is a way bigger conversation right now because mental health is damn near wrapped with addiction. And addiction is ignored unless it's something serious, like heroin or fentanyl. No one cares when people are addicted to food until they die, until they're 900 pounds, until they look disgusting and I don't want to look at them anymore. It's so effing annoying. <sighs> I don't know. I just don't think that that mental health or uh, so, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So they're trying to like, they're kind of making it seem as if mental 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 illness is what killed him when i don't know i think i think yeah mental health has a part in it but i think addiction has a way bigger part i think addiction has a way bigger part but the reason i say that is because you can be addicted to stuff without having a mental illness i just feel like it's a bigger net it's a wider net you know but either way so as I sit here and I wait for my video to get on my laptop so I can edit it, I realize what I don't like. It's the ending. I don't like the way people end things. I analyze the crap out of it because it shows so much about that person. The way things are ended, like it doesn't matter who it is, employer, boyfriend, lover, I don't care who it is, but the way things end, how it's ended, how they ended it, what was the conversation like, what was the conversation not like, what was the non-verbals, what were the verbals? All those things make it very easy for me to like kind of see and like figure out who the person is and that's what it is. I don't like the way this is. I don't like the way this ended. I don't, I don't like this. It's not, I don't know. I don't know, but I don't like it. And Robert Greene can absolutely attest to this. So it's just like, they really want to cut it off and get the hell out. Or is there this kind of thing of where they want to go on and on and on and on? How people say goodbye, how they end a telephone conversation, how they end an email, how they end a meeting or a lunch, tells you a lot about how they feel towards you. It's very eloquent. It's, it's either, oh, I'm impatient, I really want to get away from this person. I really want to communicate as little as possible. Or no, I want more of them, etc. So pay attention to that level. I don't know, y'all. Some about it is weird to me. Like Dr. Drew freaking said. All day about mental health and addiction. I'm not going to. That man knew what he was talking about, boy. 
He knew. Well, 